Now, the growth and development of Lee Foundation has taken another dimension right now. Since it was started in the year 2002 up to now, several programs and activities have been developed based on the needs of the community. And among these programs uh, is the Youth Empowerment Project that targets young people both in and out of school with a view to help them make informed choices and also help them improve their performance in whatever they do. Oh, there are four. One is focus, CBO. The other one was? Determination. The other one was? Courage. The other one was? Confidence. And the other one was? Focus. Oh, other than that. Another program of the Lee Foundation is called Parent and Teacher Empowerment Program. This is meant to help people who work with children or people who live with children to study child behavior and that will help them to know how to bring these children in an appropriate way. Uh, this program also closely works with another one that is known as Kipepeo. Uh, Kipepeo is a project of Lee Foundation and it targets children that are in the community. These children could be socially and emotionally challenged and uh, the entry point is child coaching. This is a one-on-one -on -one therapy where the coach helps the child to understand the issues better and overcome some undesirable behavior the child have to improve the performance of the child. Uh, it also includes taking a child through certain therapies like breathing to help the child become more congruent, more relaxed and more creative. As more needs continue to arise in the community as far as children are concerned, the Pepeo project has got future plans to address these needs. One of these plans, and a major one, is that a plot has already been acquired within the outskirts of Nairobi, where a psychotherapeutic center for children will be set up. This will help these children by enabling them to come for coaching and other services that are related in order to help them overcome the issues that they face. Another project of Relief Foundation is the breathing therapy. This is done to help people get more relaxed. As people breathe, so they live their lives uh, because there is power in oxygen. So the Relief Foundation uses breathing as a therapy to help people become more relaxed, to improve performance, and also to be more aware of some of the things that they could not be aware of. It also helps them to detoxify their system, both in the body and also in the mind. One of the projects that Relief Foundation has uh, also is quantum breathing. Quantum breathing is a therapy that is used to help people to detoxify their systems. It on, does not only detoxify the body but also the mind. So Relief Foundation organizes breathing workshops for the community members and even people from beyond the community to come and uh, have an experience with the breathing. One of the programs also Relief Foundation is Defensibility Program and this targets people who are in the community and others who also may be coming out of the community and they are trained on how they can use their voice, their physiology and psychology to defend themselves against any kind of attacks. This is meant to help people live safely. On a monthly basis Relief Foundation organizes community workshops and these workshops are based on various topics. These topics are also based on issues that affect the community members. Among these topics are entrepreneurship, where people are trained on how they can do business to empower them economically. They are also trained on how they can set goals, what Relief Foundation calls smart goal setting, how people can set targets that they can achieve, they are also trained on the power of attitude, how they can work on their attitude in order to be successful or to achieve whatever they set out to achieve. At Relief Foundation, there is also vocational training going on that targets people who have an interest in pursuing careers in dressmaking and tailoring. And these people are also taught business skills and they are also given personal power trainings. I need quest to empower the community and beyond. Relief Foundation offers courses in NLP, both at the practitioner and master practitioner levels. 
and students come from different walks of life and even from beyond the borders of the country. As a center that offers training in neuro-linguistic programming, the organization also uses the same tool to offer life coaching to people. And this coaching is a one-on-one -on -one therapy that is meant to help people who have got issues to be aware of themselves, to be aware of their potential, the obstacles they face, and the sources of help they need in order to overcome these obstacles. Due to the needs arising in other parts of the country as well, Relief Foundation put up a center in Western Kenya. And this center is also offering vocational training in tailoring and dressmaking. And in future, plans are underway to integrate masonry and carpentry programs into the project to help people who would like to pursue careers in these areas. And also, it's going to be a retreat and camping site for domestic and international tourism, for tourists who will be coming from Kenya to Uganda or from Uganda to Kenya because the center is strategically placed near the border of Kenya and Uganda. Among the people who have benefited from Relief Foundation programs, a few would like to share their stories, how life was before they knew about Relief Foundation and its programs and how life is now for them after they, had, they have benefited from any of the programs that Relief Foundation uh, My name is Nicholas Murangiri. Uh, I'm an NLP student here at Relief Foundation. I'm doing my master course. Uh, some of the benefits I've had from NLP are that I've gotten to discover myself. Now I discover myself. I know that I have potential. I know that I, I don't need any person from outside to come and have solutions for me. All the solutions that I need are within myself. And that has also en enabled me to live a more balanced life, to rely on myself. Know that everything that I need is within myself. The other benefit is that after learning NLP, I'm able to set achievable targets and goals, which is very important. And therefore, if I'm able to do that, there's actually nothing that is too difficult in life. Hi, my name is Amajit Labura. I joined Relief Foundation in 2010 and have been doing I've been following the NLP course here. And this course has really enlightened me and I've understood myself a lot better than when I just joined this course. It has helped me through my life with challenges and facing new ideologies and wondering how to work better myself every day. I suggest this course to anyone who is interested in understanding themselves better because this course can really enlighten you towards self-discovery. So? No, my name is Justice Godo. I'm the founder and the principal of Brooklyn High School and I want to thank Relief Foundation because uh, see, ever since, since they came to Brooklyn High School we have seen great change in our students especially one reason because most of our students come from single mothers most of them come from uh, we have those who are orphaned we have others who are coming from very poor families so you find these students have so many problems and that affects them psychologically in a way that uh, they're not able to concentrate so well in, in class. Therefore, Relief Foundation has come. It has helped those students, most of them, all, all, all of them actually, they're performing well. They have now been counseled, they've been trained, and we have seen great change in them. So we want to thank Relief Foundation. Uh, the room is our saviour and all his trainers who have been with us. They've been with us now for about two years. They have been wonderful and they have helped our students. Now, as uh, we come to the conclusion of the narration of the story of Lee Foundation, this is the centre where most of these programmes take place. This is where we have the offices, where the staff members of Lee Foundation work. And this is also the place where quantum breathing takes place. This is the place where child coaching takes place. 
and behind the building that you can see in the background is where we have the vocational training for people who'd like to pursue careers in tailoring and dressmaking.